2024 Tops Knockout is finally here. We get on card autos, Connor Gold Sharpies, Team Habib Triple Autos. Let's see what's inside this box. Let's get right into this. We got 2024 Tops Knockout. Two autos, one auto relic, one relic, three numbered parallels per master box. Um, if you haven't seen kind of my overview of the product, you can check out that video somewhere up here. And let's get right into it. So we get these four little, four little cutie boxes here. Four little cuties, which I think is a nice little change, a little change of pace. And in each one is going to be a pack. And then within each pack, we get 10 cards. So I'm going to get these off to the side. We're just gonna get ripping, man. It's been a while since I ripped anything, to be honest. So I'm interested uh, to see what we can get in here. Like I said at the top of the show, I think the main thing that I would want is the Habib Triple Auto, but I know a Connor uh, Connor Auto is gonna be sick as well. And he's got two in here, Pillars of the Octagon, and he's also got the AKA, which is probably one of my favorites, and I think one of the best looking cards in here. All right, this is it. So we got. Ian Gary throwing a knee, a knee here, and uh, these are thicker. So these are 55 point, 55 point cards. Nice little action shot of Gary there. As you can see, it, uh, the parallels are going to be where all the silver is now on the base. That's going to be where you can tell the different parallels. Carla Sparza on the knockout base. Got a rookie here. We got Jake Hadley. All right, not too bad. Good little action shot there. Very simple design. So I know some people really like simple designs, and uh, this is definitely going to do it for you if that's kind of what you what you like to see. Remember the name, Bilal Mahabin, the new champ. First time I've opened a product since he became champ. In the comments below, are you hyped that remember the name is the champ? The 170 pound king at the moment. Looks like we got something here. And I think it's an attested auto. Probably my least favorite of the autos. What do we got? Frank Mir. Attested auto. All right, let's check this out. <laughs> Not the one that I wanted. Let's see. On card. Looks nice. Kind of like the rip design here. Kind of a rip. And then you got octagon with some lighting in the background. Honestly, it looks better in person. It does look better in person than it did in the photos. But... Yeah, that's probably my one of my least favorites of the autos. Oh, okay. We got a little, what is this, little bronze of 250, Carla Esparza. So our first parallel, let's check it out. I honestly like the parallel, man. I honestly like that it's pretty chill as far as the coloring goes. And it's just right in there. Just right in there. Good refraction, though. Very clean. Very clean design. All right, looks like we got maybe some, an insert here inside the octagon. Alessandre Pantoja. Good shot of him with the Brazilian flag. That might have been when he won won the championship too. Inside the octagon. I like the, the photography full border to border. I'm definitely a fan of that. So we got our first insert. Luana Carolina, a rookie flyweight base. Hamzat Chmaev base. Even Gilbert Burns, a little shot right to the chin there, a little chin music. And then Brady Highstand, fellow firefighter. What's up, dude? I've been rooting for you. Got a rookie Brady Highstand base. All right. Off to the next. See what we can get. So we got one of our two guaranteed autos. And we still have auto relic. We have another auto. And we still have two more parallels. So let's see what we can get. Uh, I would like to see a craft master. I think those look pretty good online. So I, I would like to see one of those in person and get a better look at it. All right. Let's keep it moving here. And we got Will Gomi throwing a nice jab here. Full extension on the jab. Rookie card. Menin Faro base. Habib the Eagle. Number go Medov. Punching Gaethje here. Gaethje's doing something crazy. Don't hurt me, please. <laughs> All right. Raul Rosas. All right. So here's our first vertical look. Definitely like the, the vertical. The vertical is solid. Symmetrical, simple. Very nice. Oh, Pillars of the Octagon. Who do we got? Frankie Edgar. 
of 50. This is going to be a blue on card auto. Pillars of the Octagon, Frankie Edgar Blue. So I did pay $279 for these. These autos are not going to help me get that back right now. <laughs> Frankie Edgar and Frank Mir. Uh, this, is the, this is the Frank box, dude. This is the Frank box. But this is a really nice design. And this looks great in person, too. And I, I, I know I've heard a couple people say that they don't necessarily like the parallel coloring. Like, it's not enough. Um, and not enough of a differentiation between the cards. But honestly, I kind of like it. It's subtle, but it looks good. All right, second auto. And we got Rurembik Shailan of 125, rookie. <laughs> It's going to be rough, man. So far, a rough box here. All right, we got our first lights, camera, action. Oh, nice. Of Leon. There we go. Let's go, Rocky. I'm going to be keeping that one, so this is a nice hit. Let's check out this design. We got lights, camera, action. We got some crowd. We got some lighting. And this is the action here. Uh, I don't love it. I don't hate it. I'm, I'm ambivalent. I'd say I'm ambivalent on that one. It's definitely not bad. All right, we got... Rookie Ode Osborne. There we go. Get some rookie love. Another rookie. N N Natalia Krista da Silva. Okay, so that's a good rookie hit. It is just a base. And then Islam Mahachev. Nice. And here's him fighting Volk. Swinging for the fences. Let's see. Was that Volk 1 or Volk 2? Let's see if they tell us. Yep. That was Volk 2 with the KO. All right. We got two boxes left. Two little, two tiny, two little baby boxes, man. Two little baby boxes, two packs left. Let's see what we got. So far, lack, lackluster, but I am liking the product. Though. We haven't got much as far as uh, hits here, but the product has been solid as far as fit and finish. Definitely can't complain too much about that. And uh, again, I did pay two seventy nine. I pre ordered this. Uh, as we know now, Tops came out with one ninety nine on uh, their website, but it was. Uh, it did sell out, and I think some people did not end up getting theirs, so I had to pay the premium to secure it. But man, it would have been nice to get this at 200. All right, the highlight just engaged you again. The vertical, very nice. Verticals looking good. The Reaper, Robert Whitaker, and I'm liking the photography too. They're giving us pretty solid shots here, and I like you see it's almost like a vignette on the outside, like little details like that. I think make a big difference when it comes to this kind of stuff. Robert Whitaker, Jamal Hill throwing a quick little head kick. Nice. Ooh, solid. Okay. So this is our mem auto and it is going to be Raul Rosas. <laughs> this auto that he did is hilarious, man. He changed up his auto to the, just the R circle, which honestly pretty lazy. Not a fan of that. So this is going to be the of 50 and let's check the back here. What do we got on the back? Okay, kind of cool. Although the relic does not come from any specific match or event, so that's pretty lame, honestly. So what's the canvas, though? Does it say on the side here? Event used, fight match. Man, come on, you guys gotta, you guys gotta let us know. Let us know which one it is. Demba Gorimbo, rookie. Uh, so this is an orange. What is the numbering here? Are these numbered? I'll have to take a closer look once we shut the camera off. But it does look to be some type of a parallel, but it doesn't have any numbering on it. So it may just be uh, the like a base parallel before before we get into numbered. And another camera. So we got action and camera. All right. Max Holloway. Josh Quinlan, rookie. Michael Morales. Good shot of him here. Nice action shot, and oh, nice, another Leon. Dude, sick. Two Leons in this box. I will definitely take that. I'll be putting those into the binder with all the other Leons that I have. All right, last one. So we've got, it's just gonna be, just gonna be the Relic at this point. We're just gonna be getting the Relic. We've got our two autos. We've got our Relic auto. Now we should be getting a Relic in this. And we've gotten, I believe, two numbered. So we should be getting one more of those as well. All right. Sean Strickland base. Aaron Blanchfield base. Vertical looking clean. Cho Sung Woo. Rookie card. I'm, I'm unfamiliar with him. Cho Sung Woo. Uh, yeah. And what do we got? Connor McGregor. Okay. 
That's a good shot of Connor too. And Neil Magny. We got Neil Magny on the relic. Old man Magny. Fighter worn man. Let's see what what kind of info they're giving us on this. Does not come from any specific match or event. Not too hyped about that. Manel Cop rookie of 99. Okay, that's not a bad hit. It is a rookie. He did end up losing his last fight uh, against Muhammad Mokayev, but at least he didn't get cut, right? Muhammad Mokayev got cut after a win. That was an insane storyline when it happened. But uh, Manel Cop, not too bad. Nice, our first craft master. Whoa, it's number two of Habib. Oh, and this is a sick one of 99. Oh, man, look at that. The diamond. The diamond about to get choked, dude. That, that's pretty sick. I like that one. Not sure what I'm going to do with that. But that's a good card. Whoa, nice. We got an Umar. Got an Umar base. Yan Nan base. And Yasmin Jasudovicus. Jasudovicius. Jasudovicius. <laughs> Rookie here. All right, let me pack up the hits and I'll be right back. And I'm back with the hits. Um, just a little tip. I got I actually got this tip from uh, Luke from MMA Love. And if you cut the corner on the penny sleeve, it actually helps a lot when you're putting these in. So because because the cards are so thick, if you don't do that, it could have some edge damage. So just a heads up. Um, all right, let's 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 take a look at these. Well, look at all the rookies here. Got a gang of rookies, y'all. Gang of rookies. Uh, now, <laughs> 90 great rookies. Uh, we got... Joy Swing Woo, Josh Quinlan, Ode Osborne, William Gomi, Brady Highstan, Luina Carolina, Jay Cadley, uh, Natalia Cristina da Silva. Uh, we do have this one, Dembo Garimbo, which is like an orange. And we got Nurembiki Shailan with of numbered of 125. And we also got Carla Esparza of 250. Now we're just getting into. Uh, the other ones, and then the one that I just just loaded as well. Um, so kind of had that out of order. Let me get all of the numbers here, and we'll look at those. So we got probably my my favorite of the box. We got the Habib uh, purple, and this is going to be of oh, ninety nine. This is the Crafts Masters here. So I'm going to look at that one. Um, we got the Manel Cop rookie of ninety nine, and then the of one twenty five. The Carla Esparza of 250, and then again the Thimba Orange. So those are all the numbers. So we actually got four numbers. So not too bad as far as on that front. Here are the uh, inserts that we got. We got the Inside the Octagon, Alexandre Pantoja. Pretty cool shot. Honestly, I, I do like I like the photography going all the way around with no border. That is refreshing. And we finally we finally get that. It's been a while since we got that. All right, so we got the lights, camera, action, and we've got the camera and the action here. And kind of in the middle on that design, honestly. Don't hate it, don't love it. And then lastly, we got our autos and our relic. We had the attested Frank Mir auto. We got the pillars of the octagon of 50 auto. My favorite of the autos for sure. This one looks great, man. Really good in person. And we had the Raul Rosas. This is the relic auto of 50. Looks like it's a blue, solid hit. Uh, probably be trying to sell all these, honestly, all the autos and stuff, and this relic, Neil Magny. We'll see if this one sells. And this is the Neil Magny relic. All right, so that was the break. That was the product. Let's talk about what I think about it overall. Honestly, I paid two seventy nine for this, right? If I would have got it at two hundred, probably be a much different story. So overall, the product, I'd give it, you know, a thumbs up. I thought it was a uh, the fit and finish is solid. The thickness of the card is solid. As far as the designs goes, the base is very simplistic. The parallels are not as gaudy as like, say, um, Topps Chrome or, you know, Panini Prism. It's not going to be the whole card that's colored. It's just going to be the outline and the knockout and the, the fighter's name. So depending on if you really like that look or if you want something more gaudy, you know, maybe, maybe don't buy this product. But um, as a whole, I think it's good release. We got on-card autos with something um, you know that was retailing from Tops for $200, which I think is really rare. And it's actually a pretty solid price point. I know a lot of people weren't able to get their hands on that and that it sold out relatively quickly. But um, overall, I think it was pretty good. Although I kind of did get bodied on this box. 
Not a lot of comps to go off of, but I'm pretty sure I took a hit here. Thanks for checking out this 2024 Topps Knockout Master Box. If you enjoyed this video, you like all my other videos, tons of card content, tons of UFC content, go ahead and check out these videos right here and subscribe for future videos just like this.